Hi everyone, Coach Joe here and welcome to the Magellan Network Show. Hey, in this show, what you're gonna do is tap into my over 25 years and 50,000 individual coaching sessions specifically with financial advisors. I'm going to make you a better entrepreneur, a better business person, and a better financial advisor. Also, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and subscribe to the Magellan Network Show with Coach Joe here in YouTube. With that said, let's get into it. Hi, Coach Joe here, and uh, today what I want to talk to you about is change. Everybody's favorite word, right? That's the C word, change. And the reason why I'm bringing this up today is a couple weeks ago, um, I got introduced to a father and son advisory team uh, at a firm and you know it's funny because the son's the one that does the outreach right and then you bring dad along and so we're, do, we're going through our that I'm going through my evaluation process see if I really want to work with them if it makes sense and it's the kind of way I do things and and I remember talking to them on, on a conference call and, and I remember asking the dad I said well tell me you know tell me you tell me where you're at with all this and you know dad's like 57 so he's not you know he's got 20 good years left in this industry if he chooses to have it first off i don't believe you have to hang it up at 65 i've got clients into their 70s and and one into their 80s and they're vibrant and making a lot of money and and you know what uh you can't monetize these things at 16x anyway so why not stay back to the point though i digress um so i said you know tell me where he goes you know he goes joe i just yeah, I just want things to go back to the way they were, right? I want to go back to trading stocks. I want to go back to, you know, I love, I love, you know, trading bonds. I love doing, and I go, dude, you got to be open to change. And he goes, I hate change. I hate it. I don't want to change. You know, and I go, look, change or die. Change or become obsolete. And I really hit him, and I really hit him between the ears, between the eyes with that. I said, look, man, if you don't, if you don't want to evolve, you know, what are you going to do here? And and then, so here's what I do. I said, well, you got into business one, and I remember it was like in the mid-80s or something like that. I said, well, tell me about where the business is today versus when you started. And he goes, oh, my goodness, you know, there's been so much change and da-da-da-da-da, right? I said, do you have a website? Yep. Did you have a website 10 years ago? Nope. Do you have an email address? Yep. Did you have one 20 years ago? Nope. Right? All these things. I said, see, what you don't realize is you've already changed. You've evolved. You just never stopped and looked at it as well. I can, I can, I can do this, right? Uh, do you do you have fee based accounts? Yeah, it's not you know it's like half the book. Great. Did you have fee based accounts ten years ago? No. Okay. You have to be willing in this in especially in our industry with all the technology, with all the demographic shifting that's going on both internally and externally. Internally, we're going to lose hundreds of thousands of our of our colleagues over the next five to ten years and there'll be millions of baby boomers retiring and there's going to be the greatest generation passing on and leaving their wealth to the boomer generation you got all these things going on so change is here change is always here so embrace it you know what people ask me you know how do i keep clients for 20 and i've got clients with me 23 years how does a coach in this industry keep somebody for 23 years it's very simple in my mind. I don't look at what I look at two things. I've got like I like I think I work with my clients very tactically. What are we doing today? What are we doing this quarter? What are we doing this month? What are we doing this year? Right? I'm always in that in the weeds in the in the trenches with them. But I'm also fifty thousand foot above, a surveying five years out, ten years out. What does our space look like? What do our client? What do my clients need to be doing to take advantage of that? Get ahead of her. I don't need them to be the pioneers. I don't want them to take the arrows, but I want them to be that, that second echelon right there, right? To take advantage of everything. That's the difference. And so here's an exercise I want you to think about. You know, I'm recording this. It's October 15th, 2018, Monday morning. Where do you think you need to be in 2025, 2030? And I know some of you guys are sitting there going, well, John, I'm hoping to just be alive. Well, good. Then say that. But I want you to pretend, I don't care if you're 30 years old or 60 years old or 70 years old, what does my business need to look like 10, 20 years from now? What's coming down the pike? What do I need to know? 
right? What do I think? And look, let's just look at things from a you know common sense perspective, okay? Number one, more technology or less technology? What do you think? More technology, right? So if you're if you're not technologically comfortable or competent, you need to fix that. And I don't care. You know, somebody says, "Oh, Joe, I'm 60 years old." I don't care. That's like saying you're an air. That's like saying you're a surgeon. Well, there's a new surgical procedure and new new surgical tools. But you know what? I'm not going to learn those because I've been doing surgery this way for the last 30 years. You won't be able to, in that world. You won't be allowed to practice medicine, right? If you're an airline pilot and you've got, you know, let's say you're 55 and you've been flying commercially for 30 years. Well, we got a new airplane. We got all these new tools. Well, I don't want to learn those. You're not going to fly. If you do not embrace technology, you will not advise. I don't care the age. It's here. It'll become bigger, not smaller. Right? God help you with some of you, you know, some clients, some of my clients are paperless. God help some of you guys if, they, if we get rid of paper. What are you going to do then? You'll really be screwed, right? In that regard. You need to really look at this. What skill sets do you need? Right? And don't just think of technology as, and we'll probably do a whole different piece on this. Don't look at it from a negative standpoint, which I know a lot of you do. Think about video, think about video conferencing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, having having virtual presence with people down the road, the ability to conduct business anywhere in the world, which you can do right now technically. There's no there's no technological boundaries to it, and I've got clients to do it. I want you to take advantage of this, okay? So embrace change, embrace evolution. It will make you a lot of money, and quite frankly, it'll make you a happier person. Because you're not gonna sit there and fight it. So let's not do that anymore. Okay? Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And uh, have any questions, any comments, please reach out. Have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon. So there you have it. If you've enjoyed watching this episode of the Magellan Network Show here on YouTube, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, I want to offer you a complimentary 14-day free trial to my group coaching and mentoring program, The Magellan Network. So go ahead and visit MagellanNetwork.net. That's MagellanNetwork.net. And I'll hook you up 14 days, no strings. I promise you that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on our next episode.